electrical work done. So the electrical work done um, is the work done when a current flows. So the energy is equal to the potential difference multiplied by the current times by the time. So energy is potential difference times current times time. So if we've got a question to answer that says, what is the electrical energy transferred to a component when a current of three amps and a potential difference of two volts act on it for four seconds? So first we've got to remember that uh, equation. So the energy is equal to the potential difference times by the current times by the time. So potential difference two times by current three times by time four. Two times three times four will give us 24 and the unit is joule, or joules. Now remember that energy, or uh, the, sorry, the electrical work, that's the work done when a current flows, is equal to the energy times by the potential difference. Sorry, energy is equal to the potential difference times by the current times by the time. Now another equation you need to know is for power. So power is the rate of energy transfer or work done. Now the power is measured in watts and it's equal to the work done divided by the time it took. So the work done is measured in joules and the time it took is given in seconds. So power is the rate of energy transfer measured in watts. So some examples of power. Remember power equals work done divided by time. So a shot putter needs to extend their arm as quickly as possible in order to generate maximum possible power. And the same with baseball thrower. Um, if the same amount of work is done more quickly, the power will be greater. And remember that the equation for electrical energy, so the an energy is equal to the power multiplied by time. Power is the rate of energy transfer, which we can also work called work done, and it's measured in watts. And the units that are involved in the, in the equation, well, we've got the power in watts, we've got the time in seconds, and we've got energy in joules.